Hi everyone, welcome to Golden Cross Life. My name is Chu Lord. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe for more content. So let's get right into the video. Most agent won't design maximum high cash value when a client requests it. And it could be because they're new and they don't understand it. But the number one driver is commission. Because when an agent design for maximum high cash value, they lose a big chunk of their commission. Now this video is not to take a jab at agents. It's to give clients transparency and awareness. And I'm going to tell you how agent commission works. There are many products out there, but we're going to use a traditional whole life insurance product as an example. Now there's two areas where your money can go into is a base premium and the PUA, which stands for paid up addition. Now the commission are different in those two areas for the base premium. The commission on the first year can range from 50 to 135%. Now, if you're doing business in New York, it changes. It goes from 50 to a little bit over 90%. So just to find a sweet spot, we'll just say that agent is earning a 90% commission. Now for the PUA, agents will receive typically 2 to 3% commission, sometimes 3.5, but that's usually on a smaller company. There are renewal commission from year two to 10, typically averaging at 5%. Now the commission is what the insurance company pays out to the agent for bringing them business that they would never had. Now to design for a maximum high cash value, the agent has to minimize the premium to maximize the cash value. So we're going to use $10,000 as an example, and I'm going to show you the two policy design and you're going to see the difference in the commission. So using $10,000 as a base premium, note that the cash value, you see $0, typically one to two years. Now we're just going to assume the agent's getting 90% on the commission. So the agent will get 9,000 total in the first year. So let's look at the high cash value policy design. We're still doing 10,000, but 10% 10 of it's going to the base premium and 90% is going to the PUA. Assuming that the commission is still at 90%, so the agent will get $900. And then for the PUA, the commission is at 3%. So the agent will get $270. Again, the base premium does not build cash value, typically one to two years. PUA, on the other hand, does build cash value. Typically, you should see 80 to 90% of it. Now, if we total them together, the 900 and 270, the agent will get $1,170 on the first year. 9,000 versus $1,170. That's a big difference. I don't have an issue with agents getting paid commission. I only have an issue with it if it's on the client's expense. So keep this in mind. The higher the premium means more money in the agent's pocket and less money to the client. The lower the premium and the more into the PUA means less money to the agents and more money to the clients. I hope that helps. Till next time.